Welcome to this mod review of a f oh a mod that's been around for qu quite a while. Had quite a few change changes to it, as you can see in the change log. I have put up the description of uh, Mac Tracker's well Mac Tracker's description of the mod. And you'll see that there's quite a few change logs. Um, one of them is that he separated this into a stone picker and forage pickup trailer pack. So I'm going to be looking at the forage trailer pack. I used it on one of my series. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, it was Alma. And I was pretty impressed with it. So I thought I'd just go through the, the mod with you. Let you know what I think about it. First of all, there are three different options when you go into the forage wagons and it's not immediately evident what the difference is. But as we go through this mod review, you will basically find out exactly what it is. What the differences are, should I say. Right, so this can be utilized as a realistic or unrealistic mod. I'm going to do the first one as unrealistic. As you can see you can get the capacity up to 500,000 or 500 meters squared so um, that's <laughs> a lot of grass or straw or whatever you want to forage and it makes a big big difference when you're clearing big fields. Also there's numerous different configurations for the wheels anything from two to four axles plus a, a tracked version as well back hitch pin or ball or nothing you can put a you can put a cover onto it as well you can change the color of the cover which will see later fantastic is a huge huge color palette as per normal on a lot of um, mods you can change and different different parts that's the chassis um, It's all looking good. So we'll make that a nice bright color so we can see it when we doing a little bit of a demonstration on the on the mod. There's a track track wheel, so we we don't have any tracks on there, so tip of body cover a uh, color cover color. We'll make that a nice light color as well so that we It is easily visible when we get on down the line as such. There we go. Looking good. Pretty spiffy, I say so myself. It's not cheap. The options um, that I've put on there uh, in terms of um, the unrealistic size and what have you have actually pretty much doubled the price of it. So. But then again, that's cheap at the price, especially if you've got big fields. And you're fairly well into your series and you can afford to, to, to go for equipment like this. Right, so let's get out onto the field. We've prepared a bit of a grass track as such. And there it is in all its glory. Looking fine. It is fairly low, but you'll see the reason for that later on. So it is a 
well, I can pretty t much s tell you now, I'd say when it empties it's a tipper, so um, because it is fairly long, you have to be a little bit careful about where you offload whatever you foraged. For the purpose of this mod, we're just going to forage grass. It's getting to a nice big tractor. Now, it doesn't specifically say what sort of horsepower you need to run the um, the forage harvester or the forage trailer, should I say? So, it, I mean, I would just normally use a big a big tractor on it. It's a big piece of kit, so. That kind of makes sense. Right, let's give this first one a go. We'll just take it down the middle for the first lot. Animation of the of the pickup is fantastic. So this is the first advantage of this. It acts as a windrow at the same time. So as you see, well as you've probably noticed, I haven't windrowed the, the grass after cutting it. And that's because the mod has its own windrowing capability as such. Of course if you want to make hay you would still have to tell it, but that's a, that's a different issue. Right, so it's going along at 8 miles an hour. It's a fairly good width. That's a, one of the little problems that I found out. Is I tried to put it onto a worker and it kept on cap coming up as no field found. Um, possibly because these are created fields. Um, but yeah, they should be able. To, it should be able to pick that up. Yep, definitely. Right. Just remember to put the pickup down. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, so looks good while it's working. The animation for picking up the grass is nice. Eight miles an hour is pretty standard if you're playing realistically. Pretty standard for this type of operation, considering it's uh, it's picking up from quite a wide. Oops, there we go, a little bit skewed. Eh? Trying to swing the camera around and drive in a straight line at the same time. <laughs> As you can see, because I've made that um, 500 uh, cubic meters capacity, it's 500,000 liters, uh, it doesn't look like it's getting very full. But we're already up to, what, just over 40,000 liters. So it's looking pretty empty, actually. <laughs> Yeah, the width is most probably not as wide as some of the bigger windrows, but certainly up there with a the standard size and medium um, width windrows. So, be quite happy with that. Well, there we go about done. Let's fold it up and we'll get it back to the top. I 
I do like that animation of the way the pickups fold up. It gets even a bit better later on. Of course the nice big tractor doesn't take long to get back up to where you want to make wherever you want to make the deliveries. We won't deliver this straight away because I'm going to go on and show you what the difference is between the the three different options that you have in the store for purchasing this forage wagon. Now this also works and I think that's why it does have the very w uh, wide pickup as a stone picker. Right, so let's have a look and see. So let's go and have a look at the second option and you can see that the speed has increased from 8 to 15 miles an hour. Um, I've just made it 75 to make it look full uh, in terms of the capacity and we've just changed the color of the pickup so we can differentiate between the two. So the options are all the same. The only difference is that if you choose the second option is that your speed is going to increase. So the first the first one was 8 miles an hour, this one is 15 miles an hour. And we'll see how much quicker we get down the track. Fire everything up and off we go. Oops, helps if you put the pickup down. There it is. Okay. Get it all started up and off we go. So there we're going 15, 16 miles an hour down the track. pretty much double the speed of the last one. As I said I did um, alter the capacity, I made it um, 75 cubic meters, so 75,000 liters. Should cover the collection of this down to the bottom and of course it just fills up the trailer nicer. It looks a little little bit better, not as sparse as the last one. So what that does mean is that because the the trailers are basically separate pieces of equipment you can't change the capacities and uh, well you, you can change the capacities but you can't change the speed in the workshop. So if you wanted, if you bought the eight mile an hour one and wanted the fifteen or mile an hour one, you would have to sell the one piece of equipment and buy the uh, the next one. That's not too much of a problem. Well, if you tight on money, it is a bit of a problem, but um, kind of makes sense, really. Right, so that's the second one done, and. Now we're going to have a look at the third one and see what the difference is on that one. Right, so we're going now to the third option. And once again, it's just purely the speed. So we've now pretty much doubled the speed again. And we're up to 31 miles an hour. I've just made that again at uh, 75 cubic meters. And just going through couple of tire variations we'll put we'll put four axles on this one just for fun change the pickup color again so we can differentiate make it a nice light color again there we go don't think we need to change much more than that and off we go So 
Of course, it doesn't look any different to any of the others. It looks exactly the same. That's why I've kind of done different color schemes, just so that you can keep track of what is what. So this one is should be going down at 31 miles an hour. Let's see how that looks. Let's see if I can get this going without either not starting it or forgetting to put the pickup down. <laughs> what are the odds? That's beside the point. Does look pretty good sitting there waiting to do its job. And away we go. Took my time getting it ready, but here we, it takes a little while to get up to. There we go, top speed, 31 miles an hour. A little bit more difficult to control, of course, with a higher speed. But not, not overly difficult, just missing a little bit here and there. But this, combined with the unrealistic 500,000 litre capacity, makes short work of big fields. I like this mod. Besides the fact that it doesn't seem to work on workers, I haven't tested that ex extensively, it just wasn't working on this field, so... Uh, it may do. I'll must probably need to go and have a look at that at some stage and just add in the comments. Right, that, we've got that all full. 75,000 litres of grass. Let's get it back up to the... back up to the yard and we'll go and deliver this and show you the delivery. Right, so we've, we're just using the same one. We've got a nice full full load. Get that into the silo. And this is one of the my favorite parts of this mod coming up now. This little animation before it offloads. Kind of looks like it's flexing its biceps, doesn't it? <laughs> Fantastic. And that's the reason why it is fairly low at the back. Oh, I, think, I mean, it still is. The tipper angle doesn't go up that high, but it's still going to give you, it's still going to struggle in some, some buildings. So you need to bear that in mind when you're using it, what type of silo you're going to be, or where you're going to be depositing whatever you've foraged. Animation is also pretty good, and then of course the folding up of the of the arms, I want to say, but <laughs> of the pickups. Well, that's pretty much the the mod in a nutshell, well it's quite, not quite a nutshell, but I like it, I will be using it where I'm allowed to use unrealistic capacities. It does of course cut out the windrowing stage, so even in realistic capacity it's going to speed up your forage collection, so your collection of grass, straw. Well that's where we're going to end this review. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it informative, please do like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!